Good morning everyone, welcome to another day of building our house. Today we're still doing uh, cutting rebar and bending rebar for uh, the foundation. And today we have a father-son team of uh, Mr. Mirek and Mr. Patrick. They're uh, just uh, cutting the supports for the rebar. And I'm doing some uh, project analysis to make some minor changes. In the, heights from the original project and uh, the work is going well. Turns out uh, we might have bought a little bit too few steel because one of the pieces was not marked out in the project properly but that's a mistake that happens. Uh, the engineer he said I'm sorry and I think it's fine we'll just go pick up some more steel from the local supply yard and that will be it. So I'm at the building supply yard. Just going to ask if they have some steel. So this is our form of transportation for today. We just, uh, it's not that far from the yard, so we just took this uh, by hand. They weigh 42 kilos, so it's not that heavy. Just a short walk. On the uh, steel side, not much is happening, very a lot of repetitive work, but the results uh, speak for themselves. <laughs> that's, uh, that's quite a lot of work done. And uh, I'll talk to you about our project a little bit because we have made some changes that are required because. For the isolation layer on the, under the floor, we have in the project uh, 15 centimeters of uh, uh, polystyrene uh, and uh, we want 20 because we have floor heating and we want uh, to keep the heat inside more. So there's a change in the project that was required. Basically these heights, they have to drop a little bit. Uh, the constructor he assumed uh, minus uh, 23 centimeters from zero to where the underlying uh, layer of uh, concrete is for the floor. On top of this is the thermic isolation or the water isolation, the thermal isolation and then uh, the, the, some more concrete that has uh, the heating inside of it and then the floor layer. And, uh, he assumed 23 and the architectural project is 25 but we want 5 more centimeters of polystyrene so that adds up to 30. So I made this change and automatically this has to change by 7 and all of these have to change by 7 and all of those have to change by 7. So the lens had to change. Also the constructor he forgot to draw this piece uh, inside the project. And uh, basically this is uh, this part over here that uh, holds together this uh, rebar. The same as uh, with these ones that are here. And uh, each one has its own drawing. He just forgot this and in this uh, summary of the steel for the foundation there were uh, a few meters missing. So Mr. Powell suggested that we order more when we were ordering steel but the more didn't cover it because it's uh, I think 155 pieces so basically I took Patrick to the supply and uh, as you saw we brought back 30 lengths of 6 meter of this uh, 6 millimeter diameter uh, steel wire or... so I asked the constructing engineer to uh, double check the remainder of the project just in case uh, some other pieces of steel were omitted because uh, if it was like thicker stuff, it would be uh, hard to come by really quickly. We'll have to order it and would come the next day. And I would have to pay for uh, transportation of that steel. And that would have been be nice. So luckily this was a very uh, light mistake. 42 kilos of steel that we brought from the steel yard. Nothing, uh, or the construction supply yard, nothing really heavy. So that was okay, but if there were some bigger pieces missing, then it would be a problem. So nothing really big happened today except for me having a long discussion with uh, with the building site manager 
about the depths and also with the uh, so I've been using the term constructor or construction engineer but it's the structural engineer that I mean the structural engineer I had a long discussion with him also about these uh, these drawings and the uh, little mistake and the fact that we want to lower the the floor or add more uh, polystyrene he just said that if we want to add uh, more and we want to lower the height of the foundation wall then it's not a problem it's just better because it will be more stronger due to uh, more dense uh, rebar inside the concrete but if he would want to make the the wall higher then he will have to do some more calculations or something but we don't plan on doing that so this is about it for today uh, basically it was just uh, spent a lot of time here on uh, this stuff. The day is coming to a close and uh, basically most of the steel supports, these thin wire supports are uh, bent and uh, probably on Monday we will start bending the bigger rebar and maybe tying it up and yeah so it's like prep work but uh, Mr. Pavel has bought a, a container, uh, like a refrigeration container that they're going to make a house in. So they're going to be staying on site and uh, they're going to place it right over here uh, tomorrow. But I guess I won't be here for that, but you will see it on Monday. I'll film it and show you guys. So we're also planning uh, to get a container for ourselves just to spend the summer here with the kids so that we don't have to drive as much and maybe get some fresh air also for the summer. That might be good and we're gonna probably put it way over there behind those trees. Just a bit farther away from the construction so the kids don't hurt themselves by accident. And uh, you know, so they can spend all day in the fresh air and the sun and not have to wait until the house is built. So that will be also cool. And we found the container that We'll have a bathroom and electricity and everything. So that would be nice uh, for like a summer house, right? So that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you liked this video and uh, see you soon on Monday. Bye.